We are not even going to talk about my hair. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to do a little craft project um, and it makes really cute gifts. I actually gave both of these and I'm going to show you how I made away as gifts. And they're just super cute and they're a great little decor item for the kitchen. And it is a DIY custom personalized cutting board and you can make these as big or small as you want. I kind of got little mini ones because uh, they were a lot less work. I'm pretty excited about this because I think they turned out super cute and also um, be on the lookout. I have some new things coming up soon. Some little different things. Um, I might have some new equipment coming soon. So um, yeah that's it. If you're new here don't forget to subscribe because I post crap videos, I post DIY videos, I really need to get back into posting cake videos and um, I'm going to be posting a couple of personal type videos as well. Not many, so don't be alarmed if you're just here for the DIYs. Because trust me, there are plenty of DIY craft projects coming. So, um, with that being said, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up uh, if you like uh, things. <laughs> I'm going to stop rambling and let's just get into this craft project. We are going to make DIY custom cutting boards. Cutting boards. So, uh, let's do this. You'll need cutting boards in whatever size you want. I got these little seven inch ones. And then you're gonna need a printout of the design you wanna put on the cutting board about the size to fit it. An ink pen, this is kinda gonna just be for pressing it into the cutting board. A wood burning kit, I got this at Lowe's, pretty cheap. And um, some tape to tape the picture down. It does not have to be green tape and it doesn't have to be on a stiletto. I just think this is fun. And some scissors and that's about it. So I'm going to cut out my design, which this is just printed on regular printer paper. And I just designed it like you can design these on PicMonkey or Canva or wherever. And I'm going to place it on the cutting board and tape it down so it doesn't move and it stays in place. I struggled with the tape a little bit, but it's okay. We're just going to tape this down in the position where we want it and get started pressing it in. Now, if you've seen any of my prior wood videos, you know that I kind of just will take an ink pen and just kind of trace the design really heavily and hard and kind of dig the pen into it so it kind of engraves it into the wood slightly. Now I'm going to take a pencil, which this wasn't my initial supplies because it was a last minute add-on, and I decided so I can see it better to trace the little engraving outlines that's kind of indented into the wood, if that makes sense. Um, I'll show you here in a second. Right there you see where I wrote over it and you kind of can see the indentations of the words. It's kind of hard to see when you're wood burning, so I did go over it with a pencil just to make it more clear and easy to see. You can put whatever designs you want on these. I just made a couple of different cute ones. Once your designs are drawn on there with your pencil, they're ready to be wood burned. Warm up your wood burner. Again, if you are a kid, please let an adult do this because wood burners are super easy to get burned on. Trust me. And now I'm just gonna trace my picture. The picture that you kind of engraved in and colored in with a pencil, we're just gonna trace it again. I did only trace this one time and I would suggest doing it at least a good two or three times to get it real good and deep into the wood. I was just trying to get the base of the picture in there, but of course I think it would have actually looked better had I went over another maybe two times to make it like super deep in the wood, but it still turned out super cute. So again, just trace out your design onto your wood and kind of try to keep the pressure even if at all possible i'm really bad for not doing that and getting some places a little more burnt than others but just keep working at it and it will look good and then once you're done you're, you're done that's it you could totally seal this if you want to i didn't because i figure it's more of a decorative piece than an actual cutting board to use for cutting and that's it you're done you're ready to go look how cute Alright, that's it for this cutting board. I think it turned out super cute. I'm pretty excited about it. Um, and if you try it, let me know. Send it to me on Instagram. I have an Instagram. It's Burst of Sunshine. Um, I don't use it, but I'm going to start trying to get better at it and improve it maybe. Um, it's 
it's it's it's bad right now it's really really bad right now but I'm totally gonna try to revamp it and give it a little facelift and start using it and start updating Instagram stories so um, if you remake this send it to my Instagram and uh, go follow me on Instagram uh, burst of sunshine um, and I'm gonna try and make it better so don't hate because <laughs> it's bad right now but I'm gonna try and make it better so that's it for this video I hope you like it I'll be back next week with another video maybe sooner maybe maybe sooner mm -hmm. who knows so I uh, hope you like this and I'll see you next time bye I'm too far away to gotta get a new outro here oh, yeah.